All right, here's my stain, a bottle, and water with ice. It's important that it's cold. What I'm gonna do is step on a bottle like that, so I can lift it a little bit. And then I'll go one, two, and three. Then I'm gonna grab the other foot and step it like that. So I'm holding it. And I'm gonna heat up the bottle as much as I can. And then after I'm done, I'm just gonna stick it in into the icy water. Opa! Look, I broke. The problem is I wasn't uh, doing it on the same thing, on the same line. That's why it broke so bad. So I'm gonna put the bottle in the whisk like that just because I don't have extra person to hold for me the bottle and then I'm gonna just rub this one up where I wanna cut it like a, I don't know the thread 12 all right after you rub it up like that just tie it up very nicely like that all right let's go back to the different table then you wanna go up scissors and take the extra off and then we're gonna grab acetone and put it in some kind of container i got this alcohol stuff i did long 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 time ago if you want to know how to do it link in the description then we will take off the thread off soak it in in the acetone just like that all right after it's all sucked in Put it back on a bottle. Maybe I did a little bit too thick. You can use less, a lot less. But let's try it. So then we're gonna go ahead and light it. And just keep spinning like that. After a while. And just stick it in the water. And you got clean cut. It's not too clean because I was using too thick of the rubber thing. Let's try this again. I'll set on fire and start spinning. Safety is number one priority. Fire extinguisher close by and we're gonna spin it till the flames gonna go down slowly. Alright, flames are going down, stick it in, in the water and look how clean the cut is. You pretty much got yourself a cup. Then you will need a sandpaper and fix it with the sandpaper. But this is how you can cut it with using fire. What you're gonna need is a bottle cutter just like that. Just google it on Amazon or eBay, whatever. And I got this one from internet, it was pretty cheap. I don't remember how much exactly it cost. What I'm gonna do is, you see these spins and this is the blade right here. So what I'm gonna do is hold tightly my bottle and start spinning it towards me like that. Just like that. I like wearing gloves when I do that because it's easier. The bottle, the bottle is slippery so it's easier to hold the bottle. And what I'm gonna do is turn it towards me and as you can see it's cutting the glass bottle just like that. You see this is, I'm pushing this bottle into here and at the same time spinning it. Okay now I'm gonna need boiled water and cold water. Now I'm gonna turn on cold water and run it the bottle on the cold water just like that i want to pull off the bottle as much as i can rotate it just like that then i'm gonna grab my boiled water and pour it slowly on this bottle and rotate it as well This is boiled water, really hot water. So if you're gonna do it, make sure, be careful. Now I'm gonna use cold water again. As you can see, boom. Well, 
a lead defect right there. So it's all right. It takes a lot of practice to get it right, but oh well. Let's try this again. Gotta boil water again, just like this. So let's try this one more time. Okay, again we're gonna turn on the cold water and rinse it in the cold water, just like this. Now we're gonna get boiled water and slowly heat it up. So we're pretty much using science to cut that bottle. All the way around hot water. Now we're gonna use cold water again. All the way around. You see it's about to fall off all the way around. Now hot water again. Boom. Falled off. Next what we're gonna need is a sandpaper like that. Our glass, you see it's not smooth yet, so we need to smooth it out with the sandpaper right here. So what else we need? Also we need water. Let's check this out. So what I'm gonna do is grab my sandpaper, pour a little bit of water on it. Oops, it's a little too much, but it's okay. And then we're gonna grab our glass or bottle, whatever, it's gonna be glass now. And then I'm gonna start sending it in a circular motions, just like that. If we're gonna look at it in close up, you see we polished side right here and darker look is not polished yet. So you wanna make sure you polished all the way so it looks like this gray all around it. Because where it's still like dark lines right here, it's not polished glass yet so it might be sharp. So this is what you want it to look like all around. You see this gray scraped off bottle. But now you see it's a little sharp over here, too, too much squares. So we're gonna grab our sandpaper and do it like that. Sand it to make it like a little circular. Check this out, I made these different glasses just like that. I like this one, Pepsi glass, you see it's all swirled up. So if you can find a really cool Bottle, you can make a really cool glass. No, then they two little bottles. Whoa! That's how you carve a pumpkin. Did Whoa. you see that? Now let's that check it out in slow motion. Again, do not try this at home. Yeah.